Hello, and welcome to your Monday morning devotional. Several years ago, a Christian woman asked me what she could do for her father, who is not a Christian and who is dying of cancer. After prayer and some serious soul searching, I provided her with three suggestions for helping her unsaved father pass. Number one, I said, be kind. Dying without Christ is a terrible, frightening experience. Not having the comfort of the gospel leaves one alone to face death. Being helpful and compassionate, even to those who refuse Christ, is not wasted because Christian love glorifies God in every circumstance. In this regard, Jesus said, Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven, Matthew 5, verse 16. The second suggestion I made was to pray. Pray for recovery, for comfort, for repentance, pray for mercy. As a Christian, you are the only one who has access to God in prayer. So take advantage of this important privilege. The writer of Hebrews explains, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, Let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. And then finally, do not give up on urging the person to become a Christian. If the lesson of the thief on the cross teaches us anything, it teaches us that God's love is much deeper than we realize. He is prepared to accept sinners who truly repent at any time. So, never stop pleading with them to be saved. Be ready to share the gospel with them right to the end. I hope these few ideas can be helpful. I'm Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv. Discussion questions. Number one, describe the efforts and results you have had in sharing your faith with relatives and friends. Question number two, what would you say to comfort someone who has lost a friend or family member to suicide? Question number three, what words would you like engraved on your tombstone? Why?